Just asking you to understand that there are a range of uh, legal and operational matters that will make it difficult for me to answer a lot of your questions. Um, that said, though, I'm happy to do my best, but I do ask you all to understand, as I'm sure you do, there are still some suppression orders in place. Uh, there's a number of court matters still going, and of course there's some operational reasons that will make it a little bit difficult for me to answer all your questions as frankly as you might like me to. But that said, I am happy to try my best and answer any questions that you have for me. Any charges being made? Sorry? Any charges being made? Uh, look, the investigation is, uh, is well underway. Um, there is CCTV footage um, of uh, the area uh, where the murder took place, so we've got a very clear view uh, about what actually happened. Uh, the key question for us now, though, is why has this happened? And uh, at this stage, that remains very much an unknown. Um, the investigation needs to continue. Uh, one of the key issues, the key questions we need to uh, answer for our satisfaction, and I guess for the, uh, uh, the satisfaction of the Victorian community, is why did this actually happen? Uh, and at this stage, it's still very, very early days in the, in the investigation. Well, look, um, that's one of the issues that we'll actually have to look at. Um, I, I'm not going there, and I'm not saying that it is. Uh, I'm simply saying that it's one of many, many issues that we will have to look at to see whether it's relevant to what actually took place yesterday afternoon. Do you believe it's linked to matters that perhaps you can't mention they are before the court, but are you investigating the potential that it is linked to, to one on their case? Look, as I said, w what happened is very, very clear. Uh, why it happened is not. Uh, and there's a wide range of possibilities that uh, we'll have to consider, uh, ranging from this being uh, a random act right through to it being something much more serious and much more sinister. Uh, but at this stage, it's really speculation as to exactly why uh, this murder has taken place. Um, that's the key question for us now. What can you tell us about the end? No, look, again, again, I think um, what I would say is there will be lots of speculation uh, about uh, why this has happened. Uh, there will be lots, uh, lots of reports coming out. There will be lots of information put out there. Um, some of it will be right. Some of it would be wrong. Uh, I guess one of the things I'm hoping to do today is to ask people not to speculate. Uh, I do understand there's enormous public interest in this. Uh, we'll do our best to keep the public informed to the best of our ability, um, having regard to the legal and operational constraints that, that we're under at the moment. Um, but I am asking people not to speculate because it's really not going to help us. We need to look uh, at every possible aspect of, of this to try and understand why this has happened. Uh, we obviously will need to look at what's happened in recent times. Um, everything's on the table and needs to be looked at very, very thoroughly, but we need time and space to be able to do that in a very thorough and methodical way. Um, and having to deal with ongoing speculation is not going to help us. So, again, I'm asking people not to speculate, uh, give us the time and space to get on with the important work that we now have to do. Well, so you tell us about the role into the uh, investigation into the underworld. Um, what's your personal reaction to the death of Carl Williams? Well, as I've said um, throughout, the, the, the underworld murders, you know, any murder is wrong. Any death uh, in these circumstances is to be regretted. Um, everyone, uh, regardless of, of what they've done or who they are, is entitled to their life. Um, Carl Williams is no different from anyone else. So uh, I am sorry that he has died, and particularly that he's died in the circumstances uh, as they played out yesterday. Um, it's not something uh, that I would uh, or do condone in any way, shape or form. What can you tell us about the uh, other two individuals who are in the exercise yard? Uh, look, I can't tell you a lot at this stage. Um, I mean, they're obviously, uh, and it goes without saying, they're obviously um, you know, the key suspects in, in, in the actual murder itself. Um, that much is obvious. But, uh, and, and the extent to which both are involved still is a little unclear, and there's work to be done around that. Um, I guess the key question, though, from our point of view, is why this has happened. And at this stage, uh, we can't answer that question, and we've got a lot of work that we need to do in order to be able to answer that question. What sort of association, though, did they have with Carl Williams before going into jail? Look, again, I, I'm not going to go into that level of detail. They're very much matters that will be subject to the investigation. 
Um, what I have done is I've asked Deputy Commissioner Sir Ken Jones to take personal charge of this investigation. Uh, he has the benefit of not having been previously involved in any of the underworld murders or investigations and uh, he will bring a genuinely objective mind to this whole process. Um, I just want to assure the public that we will do absolutely everything we can uh, to get to the bottom of this, uh, to fully investigate all the uh, avenues of inquiry um, and to be able to answer the question why, uh, why was Carl Williams murdered. What do you mean by the brutality of the crime itself? Well, look, it, it, it was obviously a very brutal attack. Um, you know, the fact that Carl Williams died as a result of it is, is an indication that it was a, a brutal attack. Um, now, as I said, we've got a, a very clear view about what happened, uh, but it still doesn't answer the key question of why. What, what, what is your reaction to think it could have been allowed to happen? Well, again, I think that's speculation um, as, at, at this stage. Uh, we will obviously, well it obviously happened, but, but a suggestion that it was allowed to happen I think is a very different thing. Um, I understand uh, Corrections Victoria uh, will have their own review of their internal procedures to work out whether there was anything, uh, any failure on, on their part and I think that's appropriate. It's obviously an issue that we're going to have to look at in our investigation, but to conclude that there was some failure at this stage I think is premature. Uh, we need to allow both of those investigations to run their course.